Johnny and George and the Robin. Over the bridge, there is a village, and the village is a lane. All, all the goblins call it Gispy Lane. In Gispy Lane, there is a cottage. It's a large cottage. Too much large. It's too much large for a goblin. But the cottage is too small for a giant. It's much too small for a giant like George. George is huge. He's so huge that he cannot get out. He's so huge no one can get in. Uh, I'm so lonely. I have no friends. John George is trapped and he sees a Jolly Robin in the hedgerow. I wish I could change into a Jolly Robin, says John George. I will fly away. Robin, please my f be my friend. Please have these seeds. The robin hops into the ledge and giant George scoops her up. I'm trapped! Set me free! Giant George puts the robin in a cage. It's too much small for a robin. Will you be my friend? Asks giant George. If you set me free, says the robin, I'll be a friend to you. But how will you be my friend? Asks giant George. Just set me free, says the robin, and I'll show you. Giant George lusts the robin out, and she peeks gently in on his the cheek. How strange magic is! George wishes wish comes true. He gets smaller and smaller until he changes into a robin. He jumps out the hedge. He is free. John George flies away in with his friend over the hedge row and over the cottage. There they go! Down the gispy lane, out of the village, over the bridge, up and up into the sky. The end. Please subscribe.